Welcome, uh, freaky YouTube people who very much like um, to hear pedals doing things and look at people with funny faces that uh, do stuff on pedals on YouTube. So um, thank you for being here. Um, and uh, if you haven't done so already, I'm actually uh, thank you, uh, thanking uh, all the people who have. Um, push the little abonnieren button that's German for subscribe so subscribe to my channel because there's a lot more stuff coming when it comes to pedals especially from Moval which is what we're looking at today <coughs> what is Moval you have no clue because you're stupid no because Moval is brand new Moval is a brand new company fresh on the market I'm not even sure you can get them yet so look around see where you can get them I know in Germany it'll be tone fan most definitely um, very cool company from China how do I have them before anyone else well first of all I'm awesome you should know that and um, well I actually helped the mobile team to uh, come up with or uh, well, find them a designer who designed the uh, series for them and uh, uh, found them a second designer for the se uh, next series which is very cool <coughs> and um, I uh, kind of worked with them on the you know look and on the feel and uh, on the naming, all the names uh, we came up with together. So I'm a little bit, you know, involved in the whole process. So, first of all, very, very cool packaging that they came up with. This definitely feels very high end. Uh, really cool black with silver. Everything you need to know. And when you open the whole thing, we actually have the BZV right here, which we're looking at. So this pedal, I got two. How cool is that? <coughs> and, um, you open it up and it's actually, you know, not just wrapped in bubble wrap, it's very nicely pressed into like a styrofoam thing. It's wrapped in a little plasticky cocoon. And there it is, a brand new Busy Bee. Which brings us to one of the characteristics of Series 1. This series is called Mini Demons. Um, well, they pack a punch even though they're small. And they're all based on insects, so we've got the Hornet, um, which is this puppy, which is very, very cool. Still trying to figure out how to do that with a green screen, because it's green. Um, and uh, so all of, all of them based on insects. As you can see, very, very small pedal. 
but it weighs about as much as a full-size pedal. So there's a lot of technology in here. Um, you've got one big toggle, which lights up, as you can see. And that's your indicator whether it's on or off. Very nice for the stage, <coughs> which is usually your main parameter. Um, we already looked at the Black Widow. And on the Black Widow, uh, the main toggle is called Bite. It's gain. We all know that. But we thought, hey, let's come up with some, you know, something a little bit more tailored towards the whole idea of the insect. So the Widow bites. And uh, the Busy Bee buzzes. Uh, actually, this should have been called Bite because this uh, little thing packs a lot of high end and a lot of, you know, definition. So buzz sounds round and warm. It can be, but this thing cuts through a mix. <coughs> then you've got three other um, mini pots, which is totally fine to adjust, you know, do you want to adjust it in a live situation? Don't know. Usually it's the game that you adjust. Usually you just leave this on your pedal board and done. Actually, with as much as these are, they will probably run you between 60 and 80 euro, 60 and 80 dollars, something like that, depending on where you buy, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> depending on where you buy them. I'm back. Um, just by a couple of them, just having, having different settings, that's what I would do. As you can see, the uh, mini toggles are black on black. There's a little dent where you can see where it's set. What I did for the video, I just did a waterproof, uh, took a waterproof pen in silver, and as you can see, I marked that thing. You might want to do that, you know, it doesn't really ruin the pedal if you do it right. And um, then, at least in the video, you can clearly see where they're set. Uh, just a little bit of a hint. Doesn't come with feet, which is a little bit of a drag. Uh, what I did is I just went to the local hardware store, got myself some rubber feet and put them on there. If you put it on your pedal board with Velcro, it's not a problem. But for me, I put them on the table and um, they just slip away. So I don't want that. So I um, you know, put some feet on there. Or actually, little ones like this. It's totally safe, doesn't really go anywhere. Um, so that's something you can do. Uh, no battery inside. There's no, uh, no, there's no room. So you have to have a nine volt power supply. Okay. Is that all that you need to know about the Busy Bee and Moval? Um, it buzzes. It's got a high and a low control, which makes it very flexible. So not just, um, not just tone. Um, yeah. Let's look at what this thing can do. The nicest part of what the pedal can do is actually just being a clean boost. On the box it says preamp boost. For me a preamp boost is kind of like a you know clean boost. Um, maybe I understand that wrong. Please uh, let me know in the comments if I'm completely off on this. But a preamp boost to me isn't really doesn't really have a lot of gain. It just pushes the amp into more gain. This thing by itself packs a decent gain. So I'm, I see this as an, as an overdrive, which can also act as a very nice clean boost. And um, oh, the setup, let's do that uh, quickly. Um, to go uh, and have a nice guitar with um, humbuckers and single coils, uh, <coughs> I picked my Modern Eagle 2, my baby, uh, PRS with 5708s, going into um, the PRS SE20 amp, yeah, it's all PRS babies. And um, that is going into an Ignator 112 cap. Uh, be warned, the Ignator by itself has a little bit more high end, so everything will be, you know, nice and shiny. And then that is mic with a standard SM57 going into Universal Audio 710D uh, preamp, and I'm on solid state, so there's no extra tube coloration going on there. So this is the um, amp sound clean. I'm gonna sing a call right now. Gonna go all center here.
So it adds a lot of shine and, and bite and, and some dirt. So it's, uh, it's not in any way distorted. It's still very clean, but it just cuts through. <laughs> Of course, if I push the guitar harder... So if I get the gain up a little bit more, this is a killer funky sound. One could even say it reminds us of um, that uh, also famous uh, boutique pedal that will cost you around 200 bucks uh, from a very what's that company? I don't I don't remember. It's some it's, it's some exotic name, <clears throat> so I, I I don't really remember. But they have they have something um, you know similar. <laughs> So let's look at the EQ with that uh, setting. You can add a lot of bite. Or you can make it sing really beautifully warm. Which actually makes it very, very flexible, I realize right now. So with the high in the middle, let's go take down the lows. Really big chunk, kind of like, you know, the Fender Bassman direction. But without actually being too overwhelming in the low end department, some pedals go and not usable in the mix. I think this is still very usable. You can see it cleans up beautifully with uh, the volume. So let's get the gain up a bit more. Take the bass off a bit. Just uh, gets a little bit more saw, a little bit more, well, buzz actually. It gets a high-end buzz the more you get uh, get the uh, the gain up, or well, in this case, case the buzz. It's actually a pretty good chunk of gain right there. Play 80s metal, 
That's enough gain right there. So um, let's actually get the high down and see how it sings. <laughs> Actually, very nice. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna check it on a couple of tracks. You know, I always do that because you have to hear a pedal now that you've heard it all by itself in context. Does it work in context and how well does it cut through? So we're gonna try this and we're actually gonna try this with a couple of tracks that you can find on jams.com. Yeah, this is a plug for jams. Uh, J-A-M-M-M-Z.com or Z, depending on where you live. Um, is a great platform where you learn licks between, you know, 20, 30, 40 seconds. Uh, you learn them with a video, you got to get that explained, great lessons, um, a video, an example track, tabs, everything you need to learn it, and then you upload it. Yeah, you record it yourself, you upload it on the platform, and then uh, fellow users will vote for it. And uh, they vote whether you pass or fail, and uh, you have to have, you know, a certain amount of points, and uh, then once you won or you passed the lick, then you get points for it. And then you level up kind of like a role-playing game. So it's a very, very cool, motivating way to uh, learn more about guitar. And also, brand new on Jams, there's sponsored packages. So there's a Joyo package and there will be very soon a mobile package where you can actually win the Busy Bee and all the other mobile pedals. So it definitely pays to uh, practice and go to jams. So check this out. And we're gonna get kind of a middle position clean sound. With a good bite. And uh, I try some power chord stuff so you hear what it sounds like in a rhythm context because this is really where most of the time you will play and a little bit of solo stuff so let's see where we are I'm waiting
Christmas vacation is not good for my fingers. I haven't really played guitar. So, there you have it. This is the Moval Busy Bee. What a great pedal. Very, very flexible. I mean, it, you know, you won't play metal with it, but um, this is a great blues uh, pedal and, and especially, I think, gritty, funky stuff is great if you're looking for something that to boost a little bit of, of grit out of your lead sound. Very creamy leads, actually. Um, you've heard it. What else am I saying? So, check out Moval and uh, just get yourself one of the Mini Demons. Series 2 coming very soon. They're full-size pedals, all six of them. So uh, stay tuned for a lot more news from Moval. This is the new shit on the market. So stay tuned. <laughs>